Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. Welcome to Monk Monday number 82, I believe it is. And for those of you who don't know what that is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I go over it, I critique it, I kind of just tell you what I'm thinking in certain situations and just overall, and for your teammates too. And you can, it can be any Monk gameplay. I've had Windwalker, Mythic Plus, um, Arena, RBGs, and I have yet, I think I have one Mythic Plus that I have for next week. So I've done it all. Um, any Monk gameplay, send it to me. I am more than happy. If you want a new pair of eyes on it, um, please send it my way. Uh, today, we have G Geist, X Geist. Struck out there for a second. X Geist. And uh, he says, I record some uh, 1800 CR Mystery Plus Plus Arms Warrior gameplay. Perfect. I think it's kind of spicy. You want to use it? I've. Any gameplay I get, I use any of them. And it looks like we're also Venthyr. So I am excited about Venthyr. I use Cephus for Survival Hunter and Skip from Reality versus Windwalker. I have yet to use that legendary. I actually do not have that legendary. Uh, greetings from Germany. Yo, guys, thank you so much, man. I, I really appreciate it. And I'm interested because I have never even... I don't even have Escape from Reality crafted. I, it's not even crafted for me. So I just want to make sure that my music isn't too loud. And uh, we'll get started. All right, here we go. We have Windwalker, Disc Priest, and I would say since you're playing with a warrior, it it really comes down to who the Windwalker is hitting. If the Windwalker is hitting you, your warrior needs to hit the Windwalker. If the Windwalker is hitting your warrior, your warrior goes on the priest, and then you cleave both of them. That's kind of what you do. It forces the Disc Priest to heal both of them. Also, want to note this is from season one of Shadowlands, not season two. Um, so great, we got a port down, statue up, great. Uh, we port here. And then we probably port again with skip shape. It's kind of funny. The only problem with that is that you need to create some distance before you port. So on this map, what you can do is you could port you put your port here, and you could port from the other side of this pillar. So you could port from pillar to pillar, uh, which is a, which is it, it's a small map, but it makes it really great when melee teams are trying to target you, um, whether it be in twos and threes. So. I would have waited, I put your port down, which is great, and then I would have rolled like to this pillar right here. Because the monk already used some of his mobility, he just used his tigerless to get to you. So he doesn't have all of his mobility to get to you once you port. So instead of porting like right on the same pillar, because there's not a whole lot of Disney, this guy doesn't even need to, yeah, he doesn't even need to use anything just to get to you. Um, he just runs around the pillar. So uh, Fist of Fury, which is fine. There's no images or anything, so that's great. I really like how you have your uh, Omnibar set up too. It's really, really clean. Uh, overall, so far, I would your warrior needs to hit the monk. Uh, it's really important because so you could dispel the mind games. Perfect, that was mind games. And since we're gonna go on the monk here, this is Kyrian. I would go for an in cap on the priest here on the next storm bolt. Um, I don't know our talents, but it looks like we're playing disarm. Disarm does disarm does not do much versus windwalkers. It only stops them from using fist of fury. They could still use tiger palm. They could still use blackout kick. They could still use rising sun kick. So, um. Probably wouldn't run Disarm versus Windwalkers. I would run Eminence, Chrysalis, and then versus Disc Priest. Um, now that it's 9.2, I would say Peace Weaver could be good if they're running the new Maldic Trinket. Um, Zen Focus T could be good if you're getting kicked often. Um, yeah, one of those is probably good options just because it's just kind of... Counteract Magic could also be good, but kind of not the same. Uh, so here's Yuan. And yeah, we don't have much here. Uh, really good disorient on that as well. And then if you have a, if you have leg sweep, I don't know if we have it. We get kicked. I don't know if we have leg sweep or anything, but I would probably use a good rolling away. Uh, nice life cocoon. Whew, it's tough. So the problem right now is we're kiting onto our port. And yeah, that's like the one thing that's like really, if you have paralysis or anything for the monkey, be great. Nice fall in order here. Fall in order. Love that spell. Should keep you alive. If you're playing Imbued Reflection, I would I would highly re if you're not playing, I would highly recommend it. It's really, really good. Um, he wraps on top of your ROP, and I would just try to get some pots here. That's perfect. Um, your warrior is doing a pretty good job of staying on top of in cap on the Windwalker or on your warrior there. I think we Zerker Rage it. And somehow we're out of combat right now. So if you wanted to drink, oh no, I think it's just a bug. That's weird. So you can see how like as soon as we start going as soon as we start going Windwalker and he has to use his mobility to kite, he doesn't have the mobility to get to you. So that's really important. Um, in cap on the Windwalker, which is great to create some distance. We have a port back. You can see, perfect. See, you can see that, right? You, now, you, now you're a little farther away. It's a little more difficult for him to get to you. And this is, I'd say this is overall pretty good right now. Uh, Fist of Fury. And we have Tyrus Lust too. So if he starts getting some slows on you, um, his disable, I would probably 
use it, especially if you get rooted, because then he has to apply two more slows on you, and that's just wasting globals. Port. Yeah, definitely just need to... The biggest... I, I don't think you're doing a bad job with healing. You keep renewing Mist on everybody, which is great. Mind Games is going to be reflected, I think. Unless he didn't use it. No, he used it. I think it was reflected. I think your warrior reflected it. Um, I, I, oh, yeah, because Overwatch got removed. I think the biggest problem right now is just kiting. And we just use Life Cocoon, so we don't have a whole lot of mobility left. And I think we have Tyra's list if, we, if we're using it. So that's the biggest thing. Priest is pushing him for fear. Um, good port here. And then, it, see, as soon as he gets to you, port again. Or if we have an in-cap here for the Priest, I think we just win. Um, and then we port again. It's see, perfect. You see how... The farther you get away, the harder it is for them to get to you. And if we have a leg sweep right, we have leg sweep right now. I would say just kind of nice. All right. So the biggest problem on in this game, it wasn't really much of a problem, but just get in the habit of kiting farther away. Um, I think it was one time we ported. I think this this it was right here, like we just ported it on the corner. It was just uh, it's just kind of awkward because it port is used to like get away from the windwalker, so he can't get to you. So on this map or any maps. Try to get as far away as you can as your port, uh, as you can, especially from one, especially from one walker. They're so annoying. They really are just like really annoying. They can match our port. They have so much mobility to get to you. So the farther away that you can port, the better. Don't kite towards your port um, unless you're out of range. That's pretty much it because you want to make them work for it. You really, you really want to make them work for it. Um, solid game though, healing wise, perfect. Uh, yeah, I, Escape from Reality seems pretty solid. So now we have Resto Shaman, Survival Hunter. In a game like this, and I think you said you were playing Sephiroth's first. This, so in a game like this, I would prob probably play Song of GG just because, I don't know, I've never really died to a Survival Hunter, ever, <laughs> really. But um, they can do a lot of damage. You have a warrior that can help out a little bit. But it looks like they go with you. So I would have been wrong. Yeah, I definitely would have been wrong. So again, try not to Try not to kite towards your port, ever. Uh, you're also out of line of your statue, so I don't think, oh no, perfect, all right, thank you. Thank you, Hunter. Nice in cap, go for a double leg sweep. All right, leg sweep just on the war is on the Hunter is fine. Good fear. I don't know if that hit the Shaman though. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah, he's off in the left field over there. I would just port, yeah. Your first defensive when you're being targeted, like right now, Whenever you're being targeted, ever, twos, threes, doesn't matter, RBGs, just port as soon as, as soon as you can. Like, as, as soon as you can kind of get away, get in, get in range of your port, just kite out. Nice, we got Fallen Order up here before the trap, which is really nice, so your warrior's gonna be fine. And if we have an in-cap for the, if we have an in-cap for the Shaman, I think we'll be in pretty good. Shaman has no trinket? Yeah, go for it. Nice in-cap. a Sacrifice. So, I, overall... Right now, we're very far ahead. Neither of them have Trinket. We have all of our cooldowns. And I think I think so far, I'm really liking uh, Venthyr is, is, is pretty fun. So, yeah, so far so good. We are, only thing right now is we are out of range of port. So just keep that in mind. We are we are not in range of port. So if they swap to us or anything like that, uh, we're not gonna be able to port immediately off. Which might be a little bit scary. Uh, great kiting here with Tiger's Lost. Tiger's Lost versus Survival Hunters. Um, Windwalkers, DKs, it's just mages just feels so good. Uh, we got locked again, so just whenever you're getting locked, really, it, if you got this door of shadow, it would be nice. But whenever uh, I get locked, just try to get in range of your port every time. Um, renewing mist just fell on yourself, so I know we're trying to do damage here. But it, also, if we have an in cap on the shaman, because in a warrior mistweaver matchup, the warrior dictates your goes. Oh, never mind. You actually got the in-cap. So what normally what I try to do is I wait for the storm bolt on the kill target. And then I in-cap the healer pretty much. And that's kind of just what I do. Because um, they're the ones that are doing the damage. They do the setup. So just make sure you have, you don't have renewing mist on yourself. Just make sure you get renewing mist on yourself and your teammate. Uh, because you can drop low. The only scary thing now is I think we're right on our port. I'm pretty sure. Oh, we moved our port right there. Perfect. We just got spirit link totem. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. And turtle. So you guys are so far ahead. Um, yeah, really far ahead. They have no cooldowns. They have no spirit link, no turtle. Um, probably no exhilaration either. So, oh, and we killed the pet. So nice drop. Nice storm bolt on that. Yeah. If you guys can prevent the pet, I mean, it's not as much, like, it's not as impactful as a beast mastery hunter, but survival hunters, I mean, 
that's your mortal strike. So, yeah, if they can't get the pet, that and there's no turtle, so I think it's um they're in a rough spot. I think that was a fear on the shaman. Try to go for an in cap. You know what you could do? You can go for a dwarf shadows off this. That's half. Oh no, you don't have in cap or life sweep. Never mind. Ooh, nice job getting the the hunter out because they can actually get the they they can get they can use revive pet while uh in uh in camo for camo. Oh, try to go for rising sun kick there too. I know it's not a lot of damage, but it's still a good amount. Nice in cap. Um, we did had a nice leg sweep on the hunter as well before. Dwarf shadows. <laughs> Hex. I don't know if we have a stop. We have Rop actually. We have Rop. So <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think they lose or they win this game because my man cannot get his pet. My man, we have Rop for next one. Nice storm bolt. Where's your warrior? Warrior's hex. Disarm probably wasn't necessary just because he's not really trying to do damage. We have Rop. Poor guy. Yeah, I probably didn't have to disarm there. Normally you wait for his burst cooldowns, which is um coordinated assault. I think he gets his pet. Oh, he finally got his pet, and now he's probably just gonna kill him. <laughs> oh no. Nice. All right. Hunter's finally out. Mana wise, we're winning. Cooldown wise, we're winning. So now would be a pretty. This is coordinated assault. Now would probably be a good time to uh, disarm him. I think we trinket that trap. I think we trinketed that. Yeah. And I think this is our fallen order as well. If we have any CC for the shaman here. Uh, yeah. Nice dwarf shadows into an ink. Nice fear. Fear's half. Ink cap the trinket. If you have ink cap. Oh, press it. Nice try. It's okay. It's all right. We're rooted. Probably out of range too. But yeah, in cap there, probably nice in cap. There it is. Nice, nice, nice. Touch death. Mm. Trap uh, full. It's fine. I think your warrior has your warrior has die by the sword and everything, so you should be fine here. Uh, hex onto you, your warrior. So that's not bad. We take that. And yeah, I think they just probably die here. He's still alive. The way you can check is if you look here at players remaining. If there's if no one died, it's going to be two. If he died, there's going to be one player remaining. That's how you can get definitely guarantee to know if he's alive or not. I haven't swindled quite a few times. Uh, I think we're doing pretty good. Does your warrior know that he's alive? <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, he is still alive. Nice in cap. We have a uh, leg sweep too. So I would I would hold, wait for your in caps because... Your warrior isn't able to connect to your hunter, right? Like the your warrior is LOS to the hunter. Um, you don't have leg sweep until like right now. So I would hold off on your in caps until you have leg sweep or storm bolt. That's just how it is. It's just way easier to get kills when you have that cross CC. So the in caps are fine. But if you're trying to like definitely secure kills, hold off on using in cap until you have a stun on the hunter. That, that's what I would say. And if you, that could be either. You can either leg sweep the hunter, in cap the healer, or you can storm with the hunter, in cap leg sweep the healer. Either one is fine, but you want to just make sure that your DPS can target him. And uh, so, like right now, an in cap would, or leg sweep, either one, if you can get there, would be amazing. It would probably win the game too. Um, yeah, if we have, we don't have leg sweep, I don't actually. Did, I think our leg sweep actually missed. There's turtle there. Probably want to port because he's probably going to try to trap you soon. Yeah, there's the trap. Whenever you see a hunter stacked on top of you. And you're off a uh, trap DR, just port. And usually I just try to port because, well, now you want to wait until he stuns and then port because, you know, it stops there. There it go. So there's there's an in cap again. Nice. Here's a storm bolt. And then we probably get a kill here. Yeah, there we go. And you can see one player remaining. So, you know, he's dead. So stuff that was right at the end there. Perfect. In cap the healer right when they right when you storm bolt. Boom. Dead. And that, that just forces cooldowns so much. Like, it's not just, just to get kills, but it's also to get cooldowns. Because if, you know, you could probably get trinkets. You're going to get maybe defensives, like acceleration, or just any, from any comp. So, good job. Really, really good job. Um, So, now we have... What do we got? Disc Priest Windwalker. Little... Little uh, rematch here. So, we got our port down. Do we have a statue? We don't have a port up. So that's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie, we're scared right now. Uh, that's images, Juen, nice fear, trinket from the Windwalker, just leg sweep. Right now, just leg sweep the, leg sweep the monk. That's it. Um, he just used trinket on fear. Uh, I would actually try to show DRs too. Uh, that's really helpful. Um, leg sweep the Windwalker, he's not no trinket, priest can't do anything about it. 
And, uh... Yeah, I would probably trinket this. Oh, that's... That's a brave... Yeah, I would just leg sweep the Windwalker and cap the Disc Priest here. Just because... Um, yeah, they don't have good, they don't have trinkets. So um, again, our port is a little little close. So um, yeah, good kiting here. Just get away, and then you also have tires us. So I would get out of there. You also have a healing elixir. We're running towards our port, which is not really the most ideal ideal thing to do. I would hold off. I would put your port here, and then I would put my, your and then I would kite towards the middle section of the map. Uh, because not only is the Windwalker doing damage right now, uh, so is the Disc Priest. So, not you want to kind of line the Disc Priest to stop their damage, and then you want to kite the Windwalker to you know avoid how much damage they're doing. So right now they're, they're storm bolted. Uh, I think it was on DR or something like that. It was probably on DR. It didn't seem like it was three seconds. Um, Dwarf Shadows here. I would Dwarf Shadows to get away. Yeah, no, I would for sure. Especially versus a Windwalker, get get out of there. So Dwarf Shadows to like the middle of the pillar, and then when he uses his mobility to get to you, kite, get out of there, pour it out something, um, because right now your your port is right here, and that is not good. You're not lining any damage from the priest. The Windwalker could just do one roll to get to you. So just keep that in mind. Uh, he's he's gonna get you really fast. Nice port, good. But you can see how easy it is for him to get to you. He doesn't. He only has to use tires us to get to you, and uh, yeah, nice trinket. Uh, it's kind of scary though for next go because he's gonna have to win when you don't have trinket. So it has to be your warrior cooldowns. Uh, your warrior is gonna have to fear the next win. Uh, the monk might has trinket. See how the see how the priest is just able to schism you, mind blast you, uh, purge the wicked on you, penance you. All that stuff is just damage that you can easily avoid if you just line behind the pillar pretty much um and disarm again doesn't do much for, i mean it stops the fist of fury but it doesn't do much and we're looking for some kind of cc on the priest like we're, nice fear there's trinket if you fall if you can just get that leg sweep i think it's you can win nice port see how the monk just rolls and then key first to get to you nice leg sweep though this is really good nice and then run run to the other side of the map like get out of there do not stick around i wouldn't windwalker damage is crazy but also next on oh i would probably life cocoon if we have it mm, i don't think we do so oh no we do we do life cocoon he's gonna go straight through that though <laughs> dome you can kite him out of the dome like if you roll out of this dome yeah no trinket yeah the biggest problem this game was the, the kiting uh unfortunately it's just like you, you you have to i would can we see the priest damage oh that's too bad um the priest was absolutely priest was probably up there in damage like maybe not top like obviously not damaging your windwalker or warrior but he was up there at least 100k or 200k so what you want to do on this map is you put your port behind here and then what you want to do is just kite to the middle of the map line the priest so that they don't get easy damage on you and then port and then the windwalker is either going to use his rolls or flying serpent kick to get to you and then you port again and boom he has no mobility to get to you and he can't get away from your warrior so that's the most important thing and yeah yeah pretty much that's that's pretty much it um that's the only problem i see healing wise you're doing fine uh disarm also might not be disarm really isn't good versus windwalkers i'd probably run a zen focus t so a uh, rogue mage now in 9.2 definitely want to run eminence because they go for the cheap shot poly on you and you can just port you you can you, you can just port the stun so that's really good um this arm's good. I would probably run in 9.2 or what is it? Is it 9.1? In 9.1, I would run Eminence. Um, Eminence, Peace Weaver, and Chrysalis. No Zen Focus T. Because Peace Weaver is really good for combustion and the shadow and and the uh, sub rogue damage because he does a lot of shadow damage through shadow strike, and I think the Abyss also has like a second uh, modifier that does I think it's shadow damage. So Peace Weaver really good, refreshing um, not refreshing breeze Eminence um, because that's also good for to stop the goes on you, and uh, we'll see. So this game is it's just really come down to don't overlap a single thing, don't don't overlap nothing. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really, really difficult. Um, Double DB is not ideal. 
There's a cheap shot on you into poly. Combustion. That's your trinket. Um... I don't know if that was your warrior trinket. You get kicked, which is fine. Now, when you're kicked, yeah, this is fine. Just hit the rogue. Nice paralysis. Still roll on the rogue. I'm assuming no trinket here means that he doesn't have trinket, or maybe it's bugged out. I don't actually know. Um, I don't. Does your warrior have trinket? I don't think your warrior has trinket either. Basically, when we're against Rogue Mage, if they open on my warrior, my warrior uses cooldowns. If they open on me, I use my cooldowns. And that way, there's not much overlap. After that, it just comes down to whoever has Trinket or not. Um, I think you're dead if you use a sh bomb Shadow Blades here. Yeah, that will do it. I don't think we had... Did we have Trinket? No, we didn't have Trinket. Yeah, the only problem with this is the overlap of Trinkets and cooldowns in the opener. Actually, it's just Trinkets, right? Because you use... You both use Trinket, but he didn't use Parry. Yeah, that's just what it comes down to. It's sucks. That's just how it is. Um, can't tr you can't overlap anything. And 9.1, it's a little bit easier because these cheap shots right here, these cheap shots on you into polys, right here, a 9.1, you could just port with Eminence. You can just port while stunned and avoid this polymorph completely. But yeah, it uh, it's kind of brutal in 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 season one even now it's kind of brutal because they could still go because you won't have eminence for like 45 seconds but overall man really solid games seriously biggest thing the biggest thing i see is kiting um you want to create you want to make it as difficult i mean you want to make it almost impossible for them to get to you when you have ports so drag them far away drag them from your port and since you're playing um that port legendary you could port wait and then wait until they use their mobility like, wait until a warrior leaps to you. Wait until a mage blinks to you. Wait until a windwalker flying serpent kicks or rolls to get to you. Wait until a demon hunter fell rushes to get to you or meta jumps to get to you. And then port again. And then all of a sudden, they have no mobility. And then on top of that, they won't any have, they don't have any mobility to get to you. And they won't have any mobility to get to, to get away from your warrior. That's And the warrior just crushes them. Overall, though, great games. Great damage. Really solid gameplay. I, I, I thought it was pretty good. So... That's pretty much it. Hopefully this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And that is, that's pretty much it. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. Hopefully this was helpful and you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you later.